And President Obama and, in fact, all living former presidents are in Dallas for tomorrow's opening of the George W. Bush Presidential Library on the campus of SMU. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Abrams is there live tonight with a preview of the center. Tom? Yeah, less than 12 hours away from the ceremony, they're still putting the final touches on the stage for what promises to be a very big event, the grand opening of the George W. Bush Presidential Center here at Southern Methodist. The 13th Presidential Library is the third in Texas, the second named for a President Bush, but this one is unique. I love it. It's great. Peter Arendt is the Director of Design and Construction for the George W. Bush Presidential Center, a sprawling 226,000 square foot complex built with locally sourced materials. Uh, there hasn't been a day that I have uh, seen President Bush coming through the facility where he stops and says, I think this building's great. There is the memorabilia from the president's campaign and his early days in office, and a large section dedicated to the events surrounding 9-11. As we get distance from events like 9-11, uh, we kind of, you know, forget a little bit. And this is a reminder about what a consequential period that first decade of, of the 2000s were. There is also a full-scale reproduction of the Oval Office as it was from 2001 to 2009. I love the Oval Office. Uh, it was fun to decorate it when I did uh, 12 years ago, and so it's fun to get to see it recreated here. Right outside the Oval Office is this small area called the Texas Rose Garden, meant to replicate the real Rose Garden outside the White House, complete with the colonnade you often see a president walking along. But the privately funded complex is more than just a library and museum. There is also an institute. On one side, you'll have the library and museum that will be operated by the federal government. Then you have the George W. Bush Institute, where President and Mrs. Bush will continue to work on the issues that they really care about. And those who put together this presidential center say they hope it helps put perspective on the eight years of the Bush presidency. Perspective the American public may already be gaining. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows that the president is at 47 percent approval, 14 points higher than when he left office. Reporting live from Dallas tonight, Tom Abrams, 13 Eyewitness News.